everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a Walgreens haul video. Um, they just came out with a new collection and it is the Barbie collection. I don't know why I pulled out the brushes and not something with Barbie's face on it, but it's the Barbie collection. But yeah, I had to get this collection because um, I guess you could say when I was younger, I used to actually collect collectible Barbies. Like every Christmas, my mom would give me like a special edition kind of Barbie. Like I wanted to open it, but she wouldn't let me because she said that it is a collector's item. So I was very deprived of a lot of pretty Barbies, but I did get not special edition Barbies in return. I loved Barbie, y'all. Like, I'm pretty sure I stopped playing with Barbies when I was like in seventh grade. I swear to God. My mom actually one day took my Barbie doll house out of my room and put it in the attic. It was like, no more Barbies for you. But yeah, so Barbie is near and dear to my heart. We still have all the Barbies in like our closets. We literally, I wouldn't even, like we probably have about 500 collector Barbies and every now and then we'll take them out, give them a nice little dusting because they've been in the closet for ages. But they really are my favorite and I do love, you know, taking them out and looking at them all over again. One of these days maybe I'll show y'all my favorite Barbies that I have. Anyways, enough with the blabbering. I will get right into it. Once again, these items are all from Walgreens. You know how they usually do like their like Disney collaborations and like villains collaborations. I think I've so far I've gotten um, quite a few Disney villain stuff and Disney princess stuff. Um, also, I got a few Wonder Woman items previously, but I didn't get enough to show y'all. So when I saw that they came out with a Barbie one, y'all know I had to have it. So the first thing I have here is one of the brush sets. So it is um, three brushes, and for these three brushes, it is $9.99. Um, they feel like, you know, average brushes. They're not like super crazy soft. I mean, except for this big face one. This one feels nice. Um, but to give you a close-up, here is the big face brush. You can't really see it, but the ferrule is like a really pretty magenta pinky color. And it says Barbie on the ferrule. And it has this like striped handle and it says like Barbie in certain places and pink around it. I don't know if you can see that. And of course it's like the black brush with the, you know, pink tip. Here's another one of the brushes. Um, this one's more of like, I guess you could say like a stipple brush. It is really small. Um, I don't, I gotta be honest with you, I don't really see myself using this one in particular. I just feel like it's just too small. And I really do feel like it would make my makeup look streaky. I haven't tried it, but that's just how I personally feel. So I'll probably just use this like, you know, for decoration in my little cup on my vanity. Um, that's really what the purpose of these brushes really were. And the last one in this three-piece set is, um, I feel like this is kind of like a concealer brush. Again, has the ferrule like the other ones and the um, striped uh, handle. Um, I feel like this one would be really good for concealer. It's really big, um, so you can really get under there. Um, probably blend it out well. I don't blend out with brushes. I would probably apply with brush and then blend it out with a beauty blender. Um, but I would also probably use this for like color correcting. Um, when I apply like that orange color corrector for my really dark under eye circles, that's what I would probably use it for. Um, so yes, that makes up the three piece brush set and it is $9.99. There is also another brush set that comes with this really cute um, like brush carrying case like that. The brushes are in there. That's why it's making weird noises. Looks like that. And then you just open it as so. And then you can get the brushes out. So this brush set is $12.99 for five brushes. And these are a little bit different. 
So here you got this angled brush. Um, it has a black ferrule and it has like a Barbie B on the ferrule. And um, the handle is pink. You have this fluffy brush that also has the Barbie B. You have another type of um, concealer brush, possibly, or a color packing brush. You have this really teeny tiny brush. Probably good for applying lip color or maybe some eyeliner. And you got this other big fluffy eye brush. Now these eye brushes are pretty soft. They're not gross or scratchy or anything like that. Um, the only thing that I will say about these is they do feel, the handles feel very cheap. So you could probably possibly um, break these if you weren't washing them with care. Um, I don't know if you can hear, like, they're just like plasticky. What they really remind me of is that, like, those, like, plastic little stick game where you have to, like, get your assigned color and you hold them like that and then you drop them. I used to try to like have to grab them without moving any of the other ones and if you moved it like you lost your turn. Um, that's what that reminds me of and it's funny because I used to play that a lot with my brother. So uh, whenever time I touch these they, I like think of that memory which is kind of like funny. <laughs> oh, there was a lot of summers where we had to go to our grandparents house where we actually played that game. And Uno. Uno was a very popular game. Alright, so those are the two brush sets. Now let's get into more of the makeup-y items. I didn't get everything from the collection because I was trying to, um, I don't know, like budget myself, not spend a lot of money on this stuff even though I wanted to. <laughs> Alright, so the next thing I have here is the like giant lip crayons. There's the box. Um, as you can see in the corner, it is $6.99, and they are the jumbo crayons. Let me take them out to give you a more closer look. All right, so here they are. Um, I really like them because it has like a huge like Barbie logo on them. Um, once again, not gonna lie, I really got these because I want to be able to display them on my vanity. Um, I don't really think that I'm gonna be like wearing these every day. Um, I, I actually have these in the... Um, when I had bought the Maleficent ones a couple videos ago, uh, the cap, like, doesn't stay on any of them. But these actually stay on, thank the Lord. Um, so just to give you kind of like a close-up of the colors, this very top one we have here is called Dreaming in Pink. It is a pink shade. Not super pigmented. But on the box, it says it's a shine on um, three color lip set. So I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be like glossy rather than like matte, super pigmented lipsticks. This middle kind of red shade is called Always in Style. And this last nude shade I have here is called BFF. I actually kind of like this one. This one doesn't really come off as glossy. It comes off more like a lipstick. And it's actually a very nice color. I really do like that. Um, these are not twist up. I just tried to twist it up right now. So you'll have to be able to have a big sharpener to sharpen it. But like I said, I don't think I'll be really using these. I don't know. I just think they would look so cute on my vanity. Like just me. So that is the Shine On 3-Piece Lip Crayon Set. And that is $6.99. All right, the next item I have here is the You Are Blushing set, and it does have the blush and the blush brush. Obviously in the corner, it is $6.99. Okay, so here's a close-up of the brush. It's actually another cute, really cute brush to add to my vanity. I'm excited. And it doesn't feel cheap either. It feels like nice and soft, although it already looks like it's shedding a lot. Here is a close-up of the blush. It has Barbie's face on it. And it says Barbie kind of to the side. And my favorite part is that it's actually called Be Beautiful. The reason I really like that is because, like, my mom, I don't know why, it drives me kind of nuts. Um, but she has an Instagram when she likes people's pictures. But she puts Be Beautiful. And it kind of, like, drives me crazy. But that's so funny that they are, like, that's what it's called. Like, what a coincidence, right? She's the one that got me into Barbie, and then this is called Be Beautiful, something that she always says, right? Am I right? All right, I never really expect much out of these blushes. Like I said, it's more of a vanity aspect. 
that is very, I don't know, like super, I don't know, like baby pink, but like not flattering. It just seems to me it looks kind of like chalky. It's not that bad. It's not that bad, but um, like I said, it's just like another like cute thing to add to my vanity. I also got this um, lipstick. It looks a lot like the brushes with the um, black and white stripes. Then it says Barbie, kind of sparsely. And then it has a, a pink cap. Um, this is in the shade Barbie Pink. Duh. Um, the one thing this was this was actually two ninety nine. $2.99, not $10.99. The one thing I don't like about this is that it's so like fragile to like roll up. Like it just goes up so quickly. And it drives me nuts because if you, you can't put it anywhere. You can't really like put it in your purse if you really wanted to because it, it just goes up. Can you see that? Like it without any pressure it's barely any pressure it just goes up so you have to literally like place it like this so it doesn't move but it's cute though all right second to last thing is this eyeshadow palette Ooh, so cute so cute so here is the eyeshadow palette this is just like a sticker like a protective sticker it says barbie and it has kind of like her face on it <laughs> looks kind of creepy when you have it just head on Right? <laughs> it looks like, what's that movie called? Great Gatsby, like the, the eyes that look open. No? Okay, whatever. So here is the eyeshadow palette. Really cute, um, shimmery, girly colors. It comes with like a double-sided spongy applicator. But I mean, the colors are super cute. I really like that. If I want more in-depth swatches of this, just let me know so I can do my groove video that I always do, you know, because I don't want to just swatch it on the back of my hand. I hate that. I have this like in the front of one of my um, acrylic organizers, so it just looks Barbie. So that was the small eyeshadow palette. I want to say that this one is $6.99. Don't quote to me on that because I don't remember. I already got rid of the box. This was the only thing that I had opened. I lied. What I just showed you said that I, I said that it was second to last. It's not. This is second to last. So as y'all know, I love makeup bags. Makeup bags are my thing. I always buy a cute makeup bag when I see one. So um, this collection did have two other makeup bags. Um, one of them was like a smaller one that you can put in your purse. I didn't get that one. But it had like um, compacts and like lipsticks on it. It said Barbie. It was cute. It was pink. And the other one was like a big one and it had Barbie's face on it, but she looked so creepy. Just so creepy. I was like, I'm not buying that. Like, it's not cute. So I ended up getting a different creepy one. <laughs> and it just says Barbie and it has like her eyes and her smile. Now that I think about it, it's kind of creepy, but I mean, it's cute and it's see-through. Um, what you see, what you see in there is like the plastic that I still have in there. Um, but it's see-through. It has it on both sides. Um, it has like a little handle right here at the top. It has a pink zipper. It's black and it is spacious. It is so nice and big. I love it. Um, and it's like, it's like nice. Well, this is not plastic. What would you call this? But it's like nice. Like it's not cheap. It's not really thin. It's nice. And then like on the inside, um, it has polka dots. And it says Barbie. It's just like the lining. Um, but it is super cute. And this bag is $9.99. But it is so worth it. Because it's just so like sturdy. So dirty. I think I'm pretty sure what the Barbie looks like. <laughs> I'm pretty sure she looks like that on the makeup bag. Like doesn't she look creepy? I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Alright. And the very last thing I have from this collection. Like I said I did not get everything. So there is other items in the collection but the very last thing that I have um, is the big uh, eyeshadow book the beauty book um, I do also like getting these because I have them all set up on top of my Alex drawers so they look nice but here is the front not gonna lie she does look creepy but I mean I needed it it is the beauty book and then you open it up now when I had opened it 
um, at the store, you open it and like for some weird reason, the plastic protector gets stuck to the um, mirror on the side. So the only thing I don't like about that is that if someone opens it before you, um, like the eyeshadows are just exposed. You know what I'm saying? So I don't like that. And I think it's because it gets stuck to like the mirror. You know how the mirror has like her plastic face on it? You probably can't see that, but I think that's what it gets stuck to. So I picked the one in the very back and I looked at all of them to make sure that they weren't touched. You know how that goes. So where the mirror is, you can open it up and it has like a little lookbook, a daytime and nighttime look for you. Here's a close up. Um, it does have a black liner, um, a primer, a little pretty in pink lipstick, but there is a close up of the eyeshadow book. It does have nine eyeshadows and one blush as well. Um, like I said, if y'all want in-depth swatches of these, just let me know. I will do them how I always do them on the back of my arm. Um, but this eyeshadow palette is $11.99. It's pretty fancy, but it comes with a lot of stuff. Um, so, I mean, I really like it. Um, but yeah, this collection does come with another set that is um, two pairs of different eyelashes. And I know that there was a nail polish, but I didn't buy it because I've been into shellac lately. Um, I'm trying to think of what else. And those two bags that I did not get because I didn't feel like I needed them. I was trying to be good, guys. That's all it was. That's all it was. Oh, and there was also, um, a set with, like, um, pink eyelash curlers and then an eyeliner and then a mascara. I didn't get that because the eyelash curler didn't say Barbie. It was just pink. <laughs> I don't know. I tried to justify not getting that. Um, so yeah, go check your local Walgreens. I have heard that it's also on drugstore.com or walgreens.com. If I can find it, I will definitely link it down below in the description bar. But before I go, I just wanted to show you one thing that I got on sale at Walgreens. If you go to like the little end caps of um, literally every aisle, they always have sale stuff. So I always go and check there because they always have really good stuff. One time I saw a ton of like the Disney eyelashes and they were like a dollar. So I was like, suckers. So I got that. So when we went to Walgreens, I did find this and it is the Wonder Woman brush set. Um, like I said, when this collection came out, I didn't buy everything. I actually didn't even buy the eyeshadow book. Did I? Yes, I did. That is a lie. I got them on sale for $5.59 and they were originally $10.99. Practically almost half off, but it's super cute. I just kept this on there for fun. Oh, Wonder Woman does have blue eyes. I was arguing with some guy today telling him that Wonder Woman has brown eyes. It's really awkward. That's like really awkward. I thought that I knew what I was talking about, but I don't. Well, the girl in the Batman vs. Superman has brown eyes. They shouldn't have casted her. Anyways. So, I mean, they're just really cute. They have a little Wonder Woman symbol and like little um, star handles. And it has like a little Wonder Woman carrying bag over here. It's super cute. I'm really glad that I got them on sale. So yeah, moral of the story, always go check your end caps. That's where the good stuff is hiding. All right, so that is it for this time's Walgreens collection haul. I really hope they stop coming out with these because I keep buying all of them and they're expensive. Not really, but when you buy everything, it comes out to be a lot. Um, but I really hope y'all enjoyed it. And like I said, if y'all want close-up swatches of this little palette and the big eyeshadow palette to see you know what you're getting for your money let me know I just didn't want to do crappy half butt swatches in this video for you guys so just let me know down below and I will definitely do that for y'all um once again sometime I'm not too sure okay I'm kind of in a little pickle here because my one year anniversary of YouTube is coming up and I do want to do a pretty big giveaway and I will be announcing that giveaway on my one year anniversary. So like I said, subscribe, be on the lookout for that. It's gonna be hot fire. And I will be announcing it on my Instagram. Go follow me, it is right here, do it. Um, but anyways, so 
I will be announcing the one year, so I will be announcing the giveaway on the day of my one year anniversary and there will be several ways to enter as always. I will do the rules in that video, blah, blah, blah. Um, so I'm kind of debating. I don't know if I should do my, I have like two lip things, two different liquid lips of different brands that I want to do a giveaway. And I don't know if I should do that before or after this giveaway. So I'm a little bit of a pickle, but I will figure that out and then I will get back to you. So just stay tuned for that. Uh, I will figure it out eventually. And ooh, I had another question. If I do, well, I am going to do, when I do my one year anniversary giveaway, do y'all think I should do just one giant grand prize winner? Or do you think I should do two? Let me know down below. And if I don't get a lot of response, I'll ask in my next video. <laughs> but yeah, this video is way too long. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, like I said, be sure to go follow me on Instagram. Subscribe if you haven't because it's going to be a good giveaway and you don't want to miss out on that. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, stay golden. Bye. Give them a nice little dust. Bye bye. Can't you later get left foot there in the mindset? Did you just? I thought you were moonwalking. <laughs> From my angle, it looks like you're moonwalking. Can you open it? Don't worry. Um, it does have nine eyeshadows and two blushes as well. One blush. <laughs> From left to right. Oh, look, it tells you the shades. Can you open it again?